Well, I've come out for my daily permitted exercise and uh, I've come out, walked out to Dunmurray. And it's quite a nice day, not as nice as yesterday, but it's quite a nice day. And I thought I'll pause for a moment of prayer. And I've got with me my copy of Orders of Worship, which is a book I have always valued. Although there's some sections in the back which I think even its heyday were very rarely used. They're called Additional Litanies and Other Acts of Devotion. And there's a lot of uh, wisdom in them. There's a lot of value in them. And I like to read now what's termed an act of Christian remembrance. So let's join together in prayer. Let us pray. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. The mind of the Spirit is life and peace. The Spirit beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of God. If children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified with him. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfil the law of Christ. For bearing one another in love, giving diligence to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us follow after things that make for peace. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. The whole law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbour. Love, therefore, is the fulfilment of the law. Amen. <laughs>